Anywho. <clears throat> Hi guys. So it's a Saturday morning and today I'm going to be doing some spring cleaning. Right now I'm trying to hurry and get ready because I have a haircut. First haircut in like 12 weeks scheduled for about 40 minutes from now. So I'm kind of hurrying and then we'll get back to cleaning. But I thought I would take you along with me today. Um, the boys and Brian are all at the farm that's owned by extended family for the day so that I have the house here all to myself. So it is the perfect time to do some deep spring cleaning and some other decorating and sprucing up around the house. We will see what the day brings. But first is getting to that haircut. I have already stripped the beds, loaded the dishwasher, and that's running downstairs. I've got laundry going, which you can probably hear in the background. Are. Oh my gosh. So I'm very excited to get that cut today. So I'm working on my to-do list today. This is my list for last weekend and this is my list for this weekend. So I need to hang a mirror in here. I have two that I bought since TJ Maxx opened yesterday. I gotta decide which one I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna do that today. And then I really want to clean our velvet couch downstairs. Um, I need to dust and then vacuum. And then I need to clean the room, but it needs some maintenance. It's been about a month since we've had it, so I need to clean it out. And then Swiffer downstairs. The floors are looking pretty sad. Laundry, of course. And then I want to hang some pictures in the guest room. And then if I get to it, I will tackle this list, which is DIY and house projects. After I got my hair cut, I stopped into a little vintage shop that's really close by. This is the first time they've been open since quarantine and I did not leave empty handed. So I'm about to eat some leftovers for lunch, but I also wanted to show you this. So I keep a Google Doc. Sirius is a little excited. I keep a Google Doc in my Google Drive that is called my hair file and I post pictures in there from Pinterest of hairstyles I like and then I just print this off real quick and take it in for every hair appointment. So I updated it for this appointment and this is the look that I'm going for. And this is how it turned out. Really cute. I love how much shorter it is and she thinned out the ends a little bit too so it's not so bulky and my bangs are looking pretty good. And my hair smells amazing. One tip I've learned is to always start with laundry. That way you could be switching it out between other tasks as you go along. There's always unexpected messes to clean up too. At least when you have two boys and a dog. Thanks a lot, Sirius. So confession time, I don't enjoy cleaning all that much. I really enjoy the result and seeing the progress, but not really the whole process. So I try to find ways to make it as easy as possible. And one way that I've discovered is to use a loop schedule for cleaning. So I'll just write out all of the cleaning tasks that need to be done each week and any that need to be done multiple times and then I'll just go through the list during the week. Instead of tying each cleaning task to a particular day of the week, I just have this loop so every day during the time of day when I'll do my cleaning in the morning, I just know to do the next thing on the loop and if I can get to more than one thing then that's great. That way I'm not always saving all the tasks for Saturday. But if I'm behind on my cleaning loop, then I totally can just take care of it all on Saturday and I'm all reset and ready to start the loop over again the next week. Let me know if you want more information about cleaning loops and how that all works and maybe I can do a video just on tips to make cleaning easier.
I'm cleaning my room, but it seems like a counterintuitive thing to do. Okay, so Bobby has been cleaned. Let's see if he's ready to get back to work. Just put up these two new pictures in Bennett's room. A little llama and a little baby elephant. So cute. So here's a little hack I learned recently. So you know after you clean the toilet bowl, you don't want to put your wet brush back into the toilet holder thing. So you can just pin it between the toilet seat and the base for it to dry. I thought that's pretty genius. Okay, so this back corner here, you can see dog hair and dust bunnies tend to collect there. And I don't vacuum it every week because Bobby does most of my vacuuming now. So I'm gonna tackle that now. <laughs> Thanks a lot, serious. Curiosity, how often do you dust your ceiling fans and like, the tops of your door frames and that kind of a thing? Or even clean your baseboards? So I'm working on cleaning the fan and air filter that we usually run in Bennett's room. That's needing to be done for a while. I'm always surprised by how much Bobby vacuums up. It's 4.30, it says clean laundry to fold, that's clean laundry to fold, and if you can hear the dryer in the background, there's more clean laundry coming. So next on my list, and probably last for today, is just going to be folding, and I'm going to watch a show or listen to a podcast or something to make it a bit more fun and interesting. If there's a job that you really dread, try pairing it with something that you enjoy. So in my case, that could be listening to podcasts or watching a particular show just when I'm doing laundry. And that really makes it a lot more enjoyable and ensures that it gets done. And once I'm done, I'm off to the farm for a dinner and bonfire. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today and I will see you next time.